Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4 to 13 from Sadiku book. So the question is use superposition to find T0. T0 is this voltage across this 5 ohm resistor using superposition. So in superposition, we calculate its contribution of its source. So in this case here, the first one, we only turn on this 2 ampere current source. We turn off this 4 ampere current source by replacing it with open circuit and turn off this 12 voltage source by replacing it with short circuit. We also do similar things. Here we only care about this 4 ampere and turn off other source. And here we only care about the contribution of this 12 volt voltage source. And, and in the end of the day we just add them up right okay i think we need to work on this part first so we need to calculate t0 prime here okay i will do mass analysis because i think that will be easier here so let's name this node here as i0 prime and this node here i mean this loop here this loop here will be 2 ampere because this is a current source right so now let's do kvl at i0 prime okay now kvl said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to z let's start in this 10 ohm resistor so i'll have 10 and then that will need to multiply by i0 prime but here 2 ampere is flowing to the opposite direction so i have minus 2 okay and the rest of it will be 8 multiplied by i0 prime and then this one here that will be 5 multiplied by i0 prime and that will equal to 0 because all the voltage will sum to 0 now i will have 10 i0 prime minus 20 and then this one will be 13 i0 prime that will equal to 0 and i will get 23 i0 prime is equal to 20 and now that will means that i will get i0 prime is 20 over 23 but we are looking for p0 prime Okay, V0 prime, what is V0 prime? V0 prime is just the current multiplied by the resistance. So I'll have 20 over 23 multiplied by 5. So I will get V0 prime. Let's just use calculator to do it. So I'll have 20 divided by 23 multiplied by 5 over. Okay, I will get 4.35. Okay, I will get 4.35 and the unit will be 4. Okay, maybe let's set this here. And now let's calculate in the second circuit here. We need to calculate P0 double prime. Okay, we can do similar techniques here. So let's name this loop as I0 double prime. But this loop here will be 4 ampere, right? Okay, now let's do KVL at I0 double prime. Okay, oh, my microphone is firing. Okay, let's check whether I got it right. Okay, I will have the voltage here will be 10 multiplied by i0 double prime and then plus 8 okay i0 double prime but here 4 is flowing to the opposite direction so we'll have minus 4 and then lastly we'll have 5 i0 there we have 5 i0 and all of that will equal to 0 now let's do some math here that will be 23 i0 double prime 
and this will be minus 32 is equal to 0 or equal to 32 okay and i will have i0 double prime is 32 over 23 okay now we can calculate v0 double prime which is i0 double prime multiplied by the resistance so i will have 32 over 23 multiplied by 5 and that will yield into v0 double prime is equal to thirty two over twenty three multiplied by five and that will be six point ninety six okay six point ninety six and the unit will be four okay let's highlight that and lastly we will need to use kvl here let's name this i zero triple prime Okay, let's do that. KVL at I0. Okay, all of the resistance here will multiply by I0 triple prime. So what I will get is 10 I0 triple prime multiplied by, yeah, 10 multiplied by I0 triple prime. And so 8 and 5. So we'll have 23 I0 double prime and plus 12 that will equal to zero right okay so now i will have let's rewrite that 10 i0 okay 10 i0 triple prime plus 8 i0 triple prime and then plus 12 there and then plus 5 i0 triple prime all of that will equal to zero and so I will have 23i0 triple prime will equal to move this plus 12 to the right hand side. So I will get minus 12. So I will have i0 triple prime here will be minus 12 over 23. But then I will get v0 triple prime is minus 12 over 23 multiplied by. That will means that I will get V0 triple prime is, yeah, let's put that into calculator. We have 12 over 23, then multiplied by 5. So I will, I will get minus 2.61. Minus 2.61 and the unit will be volt. Okay, let's highlight all of that. And so we will. So in the last step, we can calculate the V0, which is V0 prime plus V0 double prime plus V0 triple prime. Let's just put all that here in calculator. So I'll have 4.35 plus 6.96 and then plus okay minus 10 minus 2.61 and so i will get 8.74 8.74 so this is for v0 Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.